It's definitely not the amount of both here this weekend because this is really, we really have beef. Yeah. Yeah. We, there may be a fight. Well, when we're doing our pack off tomorrow. Yeah. And we're both going to wrestle. Hulk Hogan's here. I'm really excited about that. I was like, it was years of me beating up the cushions on my parents' sofa <laughs> when I was, you know, 16. <laughs> and I was like seven. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I just wanted him to power slam. I wanted him to pick me up and throw me through a window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's a gentleman. I don't know if he's been doing much wrestling lately. Is he not? I don't know. In, inwardly. <laughs> You, know, you never know. You don't know what people have got going on. Well, I did want to ask you, uh, um, related to Broadchurch, you know, how do you transition from being on a show with such whimsy like Doctor Who to working on something that's certainly a lot more serious like Broadchurch? Yeah, it's, um, it's really great, actually. Uh, it's funny because obviously Chris Chittell, who writes Broadchurch, also wrote about Doctor Who, so this, you know, he has his stamp on everything, and he's so good, but it's really nice to do something which is... Um, you know, I like, I'm a big fan of variety in my career and life and get kind of quite bored easily. So, um, it's really nice to have really good things, good scripts to work on and to be able to do some different, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really hard, actually. We're filming the series two at the moment, and, uh, uh, is that you just clapping the number two? Is that, um, yeah, which is going really well, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, uh, so I won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, the scripts are great. It's great just doing stuff which is really quite, you know, very, very, very serious. It's, it's hard stuff. Uh, but yeah, they, um, on the set of Broadchurch at the moment, I am, because, uh, so Joe Whittaker is in it, we found out that, my, this is a long story, so. Um, so my mom, let's get back, my mom, as a joke, for Christmas two years ago, gave my grandma a cardboard cutout of me from Doctor Who, saying uh, that you never see him, uh, and you, you, you always shout at him when you do, so this can be in your house, and you just shout at the cardboard cutout of me. And I, when I opened it, on Christmas Day, I was like, oh, this, this is ridiculous. And I started laughing, and I found it hilarious, but also kind of embarrassing. And my mum just went, why are you laughing? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is stupid. It's, like, yeah, it's, like, she went, it's not stupid. It's beautiful. <laughs> Which is great. And then she put it up. Went, but then your legs are mats. Now, I don't know why she thought that the legs of the cardboard cutout would possibly be Matt. And also, it's the only time she'd ever called him Matt, she used to call him Dan. Uh, so so Jodie Whittaker found out about this and bought a cardboard cutout and put it in my trailer. So when I opened the door of my trailer, uh, I was scared by thinking there was someone in there and actually it was me. It's, it's done the rounds and people keep putting it in other people's dressing rooms and toilets. I ended up in Olivia Coleman's hotel room. <laughs> and then some, I saw someone throwing it out of their trailer the other day and found it in two pieces near the bins, which was quite depressing. Yeah. So that's what's happening on Broadchurch. It's <laughs> <It's> hard work. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to the floor. If you've got a question, just throw up your hand and then I'll have you shout it out. If you can't hear you, I'll reiterate it. I saw one right here in the front row, so let's go there first. Hi, Alpha. Hey. Um, so my question is relating to your music. Mm. Um,